Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun if we um, worked on a challenge together. This is a front-end mentor challenge. So I'm downloading now the files and this is the this is the testimonials grid section challenge hub. So I just put um, get started and I'm going to be downloading the files. For this video, I'm just going to be doing the setup. So this is just going to be how I set up my project whenever um, I'm doing a project that has um, only the design. So only, if, for example, a Figma design um, or front-end mentor challenge. So usually I just save it, to my, save it to my desktop. Then I go to GitHub. So normally when I start a front-end mentor challenge, I like to directly put it into a repository and that way I am um, constantly pushing what I the work that I do um, so this is my github profile so what I'm going to do actually first thing I want to do is um, so I have here all the files so actually the design I like to just take it out um, immediately and then I open this with VS code so this is what you get when you start a fun time mentor challenge you get a folder with the images so as you can see here you have all the images that you will need for the project and then of course you get a git ignore um, index.html which pretty much has all the content that you need for whatever it is that you're building then you have a readme template which is just a template that you can use um, for your own readme um, that you have here um, for your project and then you have the style guide which is just in markdown and this is just the colors the fonts that you are going to use for the project um, so the first thing that i like to do is start a new terminal and then get in it and then what I'm going to do is get add all so I'm just going to add everything and then get commit <laughs> and I'm just going to put initial files just because so that initialized the um, initialize get and now what I am going to do is I'm going to go to my github profile and I'm going to do make a new repository the repository name usually I use the same name as the project so that's testimonials grid section so but actually I'm just gonna call it oh I'm just going to name it testimonials component. Yeah, just like that. Test, and I should spell it correctly testimonials um, component. And I'm just going to put responsive. You can just write any like small description responsive. Um, uh, testimonials component. Component built with I'm just gonna build it with HTML and CSS. So I like writing this um, because yeah, it just it's I think it's good to show what you built it with, but it's up to you. And I will not add a README or a Git ignore or a license because I just don't need it. And the project already has um, some of these. So then you go to create repository. And here you basically have the um, quick setup which you should do. So what I what I will do is I will just copy and paste this into the terminal in my code editor. So first I will paste this, and then git bench dash main. You can um, use main or master. I always just put main. And then 
the last one would be to push everything. So um, git push. And I just, it's easy to copy and paste everything. And so git push view origin main. So as you can see, everything is done. And when you, so you can see here that the files are here. So these are the exact same files. Everything is exactly the same to what you already have here. And um, what you can do to check is if everything did go up, you can put git status and it will say to you, your branch is up to date with the origin slash main. That means all of your files are up there. So once I have that up there, Since this is a smaller project and I'm just going to be using pure CSS for this project, um, while what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to create a styles.css file and then I am going to link that here um, under my title. So link CSS and that was styles. So let's just add an S here. And then I'm going to remove this style here because we don't need it because we're gonna use our own style sheet. So you can remove this, you can remove all the comments. For example, this has a comment here and just make your code a bit neater. And then you can just change the title here. You can leave front end monster usually. I just name it the same thing, test it. Colonials component. I just name it the same thing, whatever it is that I named the repository. And then I I remove this, you can leave it, it's really up to you, it doesn't really matter. So I have that, so I linked my style sheet. And the next thing that I like to do is I go to my style guide and I look at the font that I'm going to be using. So this will take me there and also usually they tell you the font weights. So I think for this one, yeah, it's here. So 500 and 600. So we are going to be taking 500 and uh, 600 and then we are just going to be copying this link go to our index.html and I like to place this always before my style sheet of course because then you can make the changes that you need to make and then what I also like to do is I like to take this and I go to my style.css and I put a comment on the top. And in these comment, in this comment, I add the font family that I'm going to be using and the font weights. So I have 500 and 600. And the font size. This is just in the beginning. Sometimes I end up deleting it. Um, but this is just as a reference in the beginning and then I go to my style guide so I don't need this anymore. The next thing that you can do, it really depends on whether you're working on a bigger project or a smaller project. Um, if I'm working on a bigger project, then I would use SAS. And then, um, yeah, if I'm using SAS, then I will create, um, yeah, all the colors and the fonts and, um, yeah, everything that I want to create. So like the variables, the functions, the makes sense, everything. Um, before I actually start coding everything, but since I'm going to be just using pure CSS, I'm just going to create variables or custom properties um, for all the colors. 
so we have a loop and then I'm just gonna copy and paste these colors in for now the color name is I'm just gonna use the one word Okay, so I added um, the colors. So these are the um, custom properties for the colors. And then um, the font family, the font weight for regular, and the bowls. And then um, this is just, yeah, box sizing, margin padding zero. So that's the basic setup that I do for my CSS. Um, and then I go to my HTML. Now, um, here, um, I have to look at the design. So I would look at the design Usually I like to start um, with a mobile, with the mobile version. So I will look at the design. So as you can see, there are different cards. Um, and then from looking at this, I will only move it to the side.